What's the last gift you ever received? Was it something you wanted? Did it have strings attached? There once was a king, his name was Herod, and he built a beautiful temple that he gifted to the Jewish people. Now, this temple was impressive, and it was massive. It took years to build, and it was likely the most expensive gift ever to be given to these people. But the problem was, this temple wasn't the kind of gift that you wanted, because it was a gift with strings attached. And this temple was Herod's way of bringing the Jews into closer alignment with Rome, so that he could control them, and they would become more dependent on him. And then, to secure their dependency, Herod gave control of the temple to their religious leader, the high priest. Now, the Jewish high priest was a member of the priesthood that God had established back in the Old Testament. You see, when God designed the priesthood, it was meant as a gift for his people. God was able to speak through the priests to his people, and the people were able to speak to God through the priests. And thus, God was able to have a relationship with his people. The high priest was a very important job because they cared for and protected God's people. But here's the problem. When Herod gave the temple to the high priest, it came with a condition. And the condition was, keep the Jewish people controlled. And thus, the role of the high priest that God had designed, this important role that would take care of his people, turned into a role that dominated his people. A role that manipulated God's people. A role that controlled God's people. Now, during the time that Jesus was alive, this role belonged to a guy named Caiaphas. And for 15 years, Caiaphas had made Rome proud by controlling the Jewish people. He also manipulated the Jewish people by introducing all sorts of fees to the temple. Fees to enter the temple, fees to perform sacrifices, fees to take the required cleansing baths at the temple, and even fees to exchange their money for temple coins to spend on things that they needed inside the temple. And as Caiaphas monopolized the temple, he became incredibly rich off of God's people, which allowed him to live a lavish, luxurious life as one of Jerusalem's most wealthiest individuals. But then a guy named Jesus comes onto the scene. And Jesus is traveling around, creating chaos through his teachings, declaring crazy things like the kingdom of God was for everyone, not just the elite, and performing miracles not inside the temple where money could be made, but in simple homes and villages. And then Jesus comes to Jerusalem to visit the temple. And when he sees all the vendors and all the fees that Caiaphas has installed, Jesus begins tearing down the tables, declaring that Caiaphas and the priests have turned God's holy house into a den to rob God's people. Jesus is declaring to everyone that Caiaphas was misusing the power that had been given and entrusted to him by God. The truth is misuse of power often can look like care for others because it often shows up in positions of trust. And misuse of power can be hard to identify because it often lays under the surface. It can feel like care, even though it's all about self-preservation. And it can go undetectable for long periods of time, presenting in relationships as guilt trips, inflated egos, or maybe a lack of boundaries. Here's the thing. There is nothing wrong with either position or power. They are actually gifts that can help get things accomplished in this world. When people lend their power and position for good, this is how laws that need to be changed are changed. This is how people who are oppressed get liberated. But how do we protect ourselves from the misuse of power? And how do we protect ourselves from misusing power? Well, first, we must recognize that the allure of position and privilege will tempt us to misuse our power, which is why we need boundaries that help guide our values and morals. Because a lack of boundaries will turn compromise into corruption. See, Caiaphas had been given specific instructions by God on how he was to serve as the high priest and care for God's people. Caiaphas just chose to ignore them. And in doing so, he greatly harmed God's people. Because without boundaries, we are tempted to cross little lines that eventually turn into great distances that we are unable to come back from. Which is why the order of your relationships matter. The truth was Caiaphas put Rome's demands over God's requests. Caiaphas worked in a God-ordained temple role, but he acted as if there was no God of the temple. 
And sometimes you and I can be tempted to do the same thing. How often do we live in a world created by God, but act as if there is no God of this world? Friends, it is dangerous when we act this way because it causes us to misuse the power that is in our hands, given by God. Power is a gift. And when Jesus cleared the temple of the vendor's tables that Caiaphas had set up, Jesus was showing that there was a different way to care for and use the power that God has entrusted to us. Rather than to take from people, Jesus teaches us to use power to bless people, to use power to free people, to use power to lift each other up. Perhaps the best way for us to protect against the misuse of power is to follow Jesus' instructions when he said, There is no greater love than this, to lay down one's life for their friends.